This is a cadence. And this is a cadence. This one too. Oh, take me back to the start. And so is this. We could spend ages looking into various nuances, academic opinions, and unique examples. But for now, we're going to focus on the four types that typically come to mind when a musician hears the word cadence. While cadences are often described kind of like chord progressions, there's a little more to them. The key thing to know is that the word cadence refers to how a composer chooses to end a phrase, or section, or piece. For example, this whole excerpt is not a cadence, but this part of it is. If we were to relate this topic to speech, understanding how to use cadences is kind of like knowing how to ask a question listeners will actually respond to. Or make a statement they'll keep thinking about long after the conversation ends. We'll start with the most harmonically satisfying variety, the authentic cadence. Because it provides such a strong sense of completion, the use of this type of cadence is an incredibly popular way to end a song, particularly in the Western classical tradition. An authentic cadence moves from the dominant chord, or five, to the tonic, or one. It's that classic sol do move from tension to resolution. Don't you feel a little more at peace with everything? Well, don't get too comfortable, because there are actually a couple of subcategories of authentic cadence worth knowing about. The perfect authentic cadence and, you guessed it, the imperfect authentic cadence. For an authentic cadence to be quote-unquote perfect, both chords need to be in root position, and the tonic note needs to be at the top of the tonic chord. Those conditions and the rules of traditional counterpoint mean we also get this nice leading tone resolution. And an imperfect authentic cadence is an authentic cadence in which one or both of those conditions aren't met. Mind-blowing stuff, right? That means this is a perfect authentic cadence. And this is not. This is. But this isn't. You get it. Next up, the half cadence. If an authentic cadence gives us the satisfaction of a well-delivered answer, a half cadence offers the unfinished feel of a good question. While an authentic cadence lands on the tonic, a half cadence lands on the dominant. Rather than ending with resolution, it ends with tension. In a traditional setting, the presence of a half cadence in one phrase typically sets up the expectation for an authentic cadence in the next. A half cadence has a way of propelling the music into the next phrase or section. But because of the unresolved feeling it creates, it isn't really a great way to end an entire piece. Or is it? Yeah, no, it really isn't. But that little deception brings us to our third variety, the deceptive cadence. While half cadences end on five, and authentic cadences move from five to one, deceptive cadences start on the dominant five and move somewhere other than the tonic chord. For instance, the 6 minor. Here's an authentic cadence in D. And here's a deceptive cadence, also in D. Deceptive cadences can be a good way to transition to a new section of a song, or delay the ending with style. Can I get an amen? No? Fine. I guess I'll settle for a plagal cadence. Affectionately known to some as the Amen Cadence, this particular motion often appears at the end of hymns. Amen. Like its authentic sibling, the plagal cadence ends on the one chord. However, rather than preceding that chord with a dominant five, it begins on a subdominant four. Powerful stuff, right? So while the plagal cadence does give us that resolution to the tonic, it's perhaps a bit gentler and less obvious than the authentic cadence, making it an interesting choice no matter what type of music you happen to be writing. So there you have it. You now have a better grasp on what cadences are, how they work, and how you might want to use them in your own music. Whether you incorporate a deceptive cadence in your next composition, 
or just do slightly better on the AP music exam than you might have without this video. Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.